Hi friends, the device used in this picture is used to visualize retina. What is the power of the lens used in it? Option A plus 90 diopter, option B plus 60 diopter, option C minus 58 diopter, option D plus 20 diopter. Let's have a look into the details of fundus. The optic disc is seen in the orange color. Diameter of optic disc is 1.5 mm. Optic disc is the end portion of the optic nerve. Optic disc is seen in the nasal portion of the fundus. Macula is seen on the temporal portion of the fundus. The diameter of macula is 5 to 5.5 mm. It is the central portion of the fundus. The most sensitive part of the retina is the fovea centralis which is seen inside this macula. A light area inside this fovea centralis is the foveola which contains only cons. And the inside of foveola we can see the umbo. The distance between the optic disc and the macula is about 2 disc diameter. That is 2 times 1.5 millimeter that is 3 millimeter. Ophthalmoscope is used to visualize the fundus. There are two types of ophthalmoscope, direct ophthalmoscope and indirect ophthalmoscope. In indirect ophthalmoscope, fundus is observed with the help of a condensing lens. The power of this condensing lens is plus 20 diopter. Power of the normal human eye is plus 60 diopter. So the magnification provided by indirect ophthalmoscope is equal to power of eye divided by power of the lens, which is 60 divided by 2, that is 3 times. So, indirect ophthalmoscope provides a magnification of 3 times. This is the direct ophthalmoscope, it looks like a torch. Let's look into the differences between the direct and indirect ophthalmoscope. Direct ophthalmoscope is used near to the eye, whereas indirect ophthalmoscope we are keeping a one arm distance. Magnification under direct ophthalmoscope is about 15 times, whereas magnification in indirect ophthalmoscope is about 3 times. The image in direct ophthalmoscope is upright and it is virtual, whereas the image in indirect ophthalmoscope is inverted and real. Depth perception is absent in direct ophthalmoscope, whereas it is present in indirect ophthalmoscope. Illumination is not so bright in direct ophthalmoscope, whereas a bright illumination is used in indirect ophthalmoscope, so we can see through a hazy medium. So indirect ophthalmoscope can be used in patients with cataract. Area visible with the direct ophthalmoscope is 2 disc diameter, whereas with indirect ophthalmoscope it is 8 disc diameter. 2 disc diameter means it is the central portion of the retina is visible, whereas in indirect the peripheral retina up to aura serrata is visible. There is another entity called a distant direct ophthalmoscopy. It is used to 25 cm away from the eye. It is used to, to examine the media of the eye. So opacity in cornea, lens and the aqueous humor is observed with this distant direct microscopy. Hence posterior subcapsular cataract is best appreciated with the distant direct ophthalmoscopy. Two important drugs that can lead to posterior subcapsular cataract is steroid and chloroquine. 